I'm Evan Atherton. I'm a senior research engineer in Autodesk's robotics lab at Pier 9. And today I want to show you a tool we've been working on we're really excited about called Mimic, which is a Python-based open source plugin for Autodesk Maya that enables control of industrial robots uh, via Maya's suite of animation tools. Uh, typically, to program a robot, you use this thing called a teach pendant to kind of manually move the robot around. It's really slow and clunky, or you write a bunch of custom code, which you know can often not be very flexible. So what Mimic allows is a more intuitive approach to robotics where you're just animating the thing you want to happen, and the robots are sort of going along for the ride, and it sort of um, enables you to not, not care as much about the robot control and programming and stuff and just uh, do what you really care about, which is which is your animation. Um, so first, to install Mimic, you're first going to download it from the website or the link below. So right here, what I have is the Mimic folder I've downloaded, and it has a few things inside of it. You're just going to copy all of those and then move them to your Maya modules location, which uh, right here I'm set up on a Mac, so you can find that in library, preferences, Autodesk, Maya. Uh, you might not have a modules folder, in which case you're going to want to create one uh, with a lowercase m, and then you can just drop those files right in there. On a PC, that's just going to be in your documents folder. It's going to be documents, Maya, modules, and then launch Maya. With Maya open, you should see a new Mimic shelf added to your shelf here, uh, and then you can launch Mimic by clicking on the Mimic icon. If you don't see the Mimic shelf, the first thing you can do is verify that the module was loaded correctly by going into Windows, Settings, Preferences, Plugin Manager, and then scroll down probably toward the bottom. You'll see, um, see that module Mimic folder here with plugins. If you don't see that, then go back to the install step and make sure that uh, you've used the right directory there and copied over the correct files. Um, if you do see that and you're not seeing the shelf, uh, you can actually load the shelf manually by going to this gear icon here, selecting load shelf, and then navigating to that uh, Mimic module folder that you just added. Uh, so in my case, it's preferences, Autodesk, Maya modules go into Mimic, and then we have a shelves folder, and then you can click on the shelf and load that manually. We got a few tabs here, so kind of walk you through um, the process as we go, um, show, show you things as we need them. So first, I'm going to go to the setup tab, and this is where you're, you're really going to set up your scene um, with the robots you want and the tools you want and things like that. Uh, so first, I'm going to pick my robot. In this case, I'm going to use a KUKA KR60-3, which is one we have in the lab. I'm going to click Add. And then one thing I'll do is turn on this little uh, circle with the checkers here. That's going to turn on the textures. And the reason we want to do that is because we can actually um, then visualize how close the robot is to its physical limits. So this will give us really good visual feedback um, on you know what what a real robot is capable of. Um, so you'll see at the end here I've clicked uh, what's the what's named as the target control. So this is um, essentially the target that the robot is trying to reach. So we can move that around and the robot will kind of do whatever it has to do to get there for us. Okay, so what's going on here is that in the background we have um, part of our plugin does what's called an inverse kinematic solve. So based on the location of this controller, we have kind of a set of equations that will figure out exactly what angles each of these joints have to be uh, to, re to reach there. Um, so if we go over here into our attribute editor and we have the target control selected, if you go to extra attributes, you can actually see kind of all the things that are happening uh, that are very specific to Mimic and the way the, way the robot rig works. Um, you shouldn't uh, really need to play around with this. You can interact with all of this through the UI, which is the best place to do it. I just wanted to give you a quick overview. Um, if you need to see, you know, perhaps where where each joint is at any given time, uh, what the sort of IK solution is, you can come over here and, and look at those attributes. All right. So now I have my robot rig here in my scene, and uh, for those. Um, 
unfamiliar with sort of animation terminology, the rig really just refers to kind of the collection of controllers that enable you to animate an object. So in this case, I have um, my target controller here, and then I have these two controllers down here. The square one will move um, the entire robot around uh, in addition to this target, and then the circle here will move the base of the robot around, but leave the target there. So that's Mimic in a nutshell. I think I'm um, really excited to see uh, what you come up with. I think the possibilities are, are sort, of, sort of endless, and what we try to create here is just a really flexible, simple tool to help you do uh, whatever you can imagine. So uh, some resources, you can find, uh, find our website uh, linked below. If you want to contribute to the open source project, you can find us on GitHub. Um, and uh, what I really recommend is joining our Slack community. So on our website, there's a place where you can put your email in and then we'll send you an invite to our Slack community where we have other users and the developers kind of coming together, sharing knowledge, asking questions, solving problems. Um, so that's a great place for us all to um, sort of hang out. And if you have some specific questions, uh, we're on, on there all the time and be happy to, happy to hang out with you.